Good afternoon. This is Tina. How are you doing today? I haven't been out for almost probably a week because of the you know the 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 the, the, the serious situation in United States, the COVID nineteen. So I'm trying to stay as home as possible. Anyway, um. This one is,、uh, I think, in previous video, I have already introduced the ways how to using the modules. Okay,、uh, you include other modules in our、uh, own module, and、uh, here I will give you still another several patterns. The way how to using the modules. Okay, you can choose any way you like. So the first one is like this. Uh, let's use in pattern one. Okay, so in pattern one, suppose I have a module. Okay, because in node one file is considered as a module, right? I will use in pattern one dot js, and here I will create using a module dot exports, and here I just give a function. This one is、uh, for Demo purpose, okay. Using a module pattern one, okay. Okay, so here in our module, the the module is called because every JS file in Node is considered as a module, right? So this pattern one module export a function. Okay, and、uh, you we directly assign this function on、uh, module dot exports, which is、uh, replaced by default. Module dot exports will return an empty object, right? So in this case, we are returning this、uh, function. Okay, and now we have app dot js. The app dot js gonna using the pattern one. How to do that? Which is、uh, const. Okay, we、uh, first to require. Like、uh, this name, you can this variable name can be anything you want. We using require because we are require our own module, so we using dot slash pattern one. You don't need to have a dot js, okay? So now what this f represent? This f gonna represent whatever you returned, okay? Returned what's the whatever you returned by uh this um、uh, variable. So this variable hold this function right. So now this f gonna hold this function. Okay. So now if I using f, then I using I will run this one. Day two. Then how to run CD module pattern? Then we go to pattern one and how to run just a node app dot js. You will see using pattern one. So this is the first way. Okay. So in this case, when you when we require pattern one js, you take a look at what is assigned to this variable. Okay, module dot exports, and the module exports equals to this function. So in our app dot js, this f represented that function. This f can be anything you want. You can using abc. Okay, then here you using abc. Yo, sorry. Okay, then when you run, it's fine. Okay, make sure it's a valid, like a valid, uh, uh, variable name inside a node. Then anything is fine. Okay. So that's it for using the pattern one, okay? And we're gonna continue about the pattern two, pattern three, okay? See you in my next video. Bye bye.